when you observe, when thought interferes with that observation, you are giving it a direction. From your memory, from your motive, from your desire. Right? Then there is no observation. Your desire, your motive, your pleasure directs the observation. Right? So to observe actually what you are. One must approach it freely, and that's our difficulty, because our minds are conditioned, and being conditioned, our approach is always limited. Right? So, can you, in our sitting there to? This morning, talking this over together, be free of that, free of your prejudice, of your analysis, of your aggression in your analysis, all that, just to observe, as you observe your face in the mirror when you comb or shave your face, right? Then what is this I, this ego, this self that we give such tremendous importance? Because one has to find that out, because if that is something actual, Not an illusion, you understand? Something that you can touch, feel, look, and not some illusion that one has created, then one has to find out what is the nature of this me. Because we are going to discuss together not only what we have talked over in the past, but also what death is. Please, it's, it's related. Surely the me is put together through education, through comparison, through so-called culture, so-called the idea of individuality, all that is the movement of thought which has created the Me, which is so, the Me that is aggressive, the me that strongly believes in some fantastic idea, that is romantic, that is terribly lonely, and escaping from that loneliness uh, into all kinds of idiotic nonsense. So all that is me put there by thought. Right? When you say soul and all that business, it is still thought. And we are saying from that action takes place, right? Is there an action which is not self centered? Right? To put it very simply, which is not egotistically motivated, directed. 
because that has brought havoc in the world. Right? Not only in personal relationship, but with our neighbours, whether they are near or far. Now, can this self-centred existence come to an end, and yet be alive in this world, act, think, feel? That is, psychologically, we have built a great deal of knowledge about us. About us. Can one die to all that psychological knowledge, right? And is that death? You are following this. Hmm? 